The recent eruption in the Reconus Peninsula near a geothermal power plant which provided hot water and electricity for the most of the Reconus Peninsula in Iceland showed us the vulnerability of the pipelines to natural disasters and exposure to the elements in the environment. The pipe burst when the lava came in contact with it. So it was in the past just easy thinking that you can lay the pipes, weld them together, and that's it. Go ahead and just kilometer after kilometer have, have your pipe on exposed above the surface, shiny background. You didn't need even to cover them because that makes the maintenance difficult. So when it is exposed, you can repair it because you will see what is there and you can access it. Then it happened with the Nord Stream 2 pipeline, which passed a cheap Russian gas to the rest of the Europe at a very good time. Europe was uh, in need of this expansion after COVID-19 to grow their economy. Then the sabotage of this pipeline, which was exposed and the era that we thought the pipelines are safe. Everybody will respect that. Even during the war, they will not attack it. But this pipeline will blow up. Uh, some may say, and I, it's not me who is saying that, that the world power rich in the natural resources but living in an island continent may actually have more in incentive in that sabotaging that uh, cheaper gas of a competitor through the sabotage and then this is opportunity to sell your expensive uh, you know natural resources the business was booming when we invaded for example the a country in the another part of the world who had rich oil resources and again we could not do this in the with the you know the Nord Stream 2 but there was a gap there to fill if there was not Nord Stream 2 working Iceland showed us now that the pipelines have to be protect protected. You cannot just cover it with a, you know, with a plaster and you have to do something about it. Now we are deciding to actually to concrete them in Iceland to protect them against the natural disasters like lava. Uh, in Iceland, this is lava, maybe earthquake. It can do the harm. In other parts of the world, geopolitical games may do that. Somebody wants to sell their expensive products, so they sabotage the competitor who has a cheaper price or have access, easy access. A next door neighbor, for example, they can sell their natural resources. It is the time of protection. And in a dirty game of geopolitical uh, pipeline wars, you have to protect your assets. In Iceland, we have to protect it against the elements, which are the main, you know, source of the uncertainty in our natural environment. We live in a subpolar region there, and this is the important thing to do. Concrete it up so they will not be exposed to elements. Otherwise, because our private companies and our government in Iceland has limited amount of resources, they will be exposed to the sharks who use every opportunity to grab our assets, Swartzengi power plant, Blue Lagoon, and who knows what is the long-term effect of this volcanic eruption on the economy of Iceland. But probably the best clue will be to follow the money.